Hi, all. This is your girl, Natasha. And my tea kettle breweth over. My has it breweth over. Well, I'm serving Milano cookies. Lorna Dunes. An assortment of cheeses. And cold cuts. And croissants with a choice of mayonnaise, or if you like butter. And of course, I have a sweet tooth. So assortment of Russell Stover's chocolate. Shout out, Jay Wilson. You love cho- Russell Stover's. <laughs> anyway, I've been... Down with my back, going to physical therapy because it rained every other day and I was in pain. Don't judge. I'm not giving Mona Simone teas. I really have a back issue. Anyway, I just had to put my two cents in now that I'm feeling better today. The main thing is the drama. I'm glad it's over with T.S. Madison and the other side. I won't call names, but we all know. I'm so glad it's over because I really felt bad for Maddie because she is a loving person and I love her shows and She's my trans sister, and she's building her brand. It's very successful. She's about business, along with being giving you a laugh and being fun. And Maddie's very passionate, and I love that about her. And Gio, I love Gio. He's very matter-of-fact. When it comes to the business aspect, he plays no games. He says what he he says it like he means it, and I've always loved that about Gio. So, I just want to say, Maddie, keep doing your things. Yes, your thing. Yes, I think that. How do I would I put it, Maddie? I think that. Some of the other trans girls, you may not get as much credit as you deserve. But that's another Oprah show. But Maddie, you are, your brand is wonderful. Your platform, I mean, it's funny. Who hasn't heard of the Queen Supreme Court? Keep doing your thing, girl. And to that Miss Parker, my, 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 Miss Parker, you are so messy. But I'm not going to come for you, Miss Parker. Everyone has come for you every which way. I'm just putting in my two cents after the aftermath, and I'm feeling better. Miss Parker, you're giving quite tacky teas, honey, and crafty teas. Miss Parker, if I were you, I'd be quite careful. There's a new roller coaster that's been built, and I hope you're ready for the ride, because I have a feeling it's coming. <laughs> Miss Miss Parker, warning: play at your own risk. I lived in two Norfolk. Virginia for two years and I'm well aware of the areas and the places and I've heard of that club I didn't think much of it when I was there and I see it's not much now after these decades (laughs) yes Miss Parker be careful dear just a simple warning be careful You thought you'd turn Maddie out and Gio, but you didn't. You lost. 
Miss Parker, you talk about black people. Miss Rita would say Negro. It seems like you're the craftiest and worst Negro of them all. And you're talking about black people. You have nerve. But enough of you, Miss Parker. I just wanted to throw that out there. Mm-hmm. You thought you would turn Maddie out, but it didn't work. Maddie prevailed. That's my trans sister and like S. Hutchinson. I like you. I love you, Maddie. You're my trans sister, and I stand behind my trans, all my trans sisters and brothers who were doing positive things. Yes. Moving on. Jay Wilson, I'd like to say it was very nice last night being in your chat. And you asking me questions. It, it really. It really was nice explaining. I like to do that. But once again. I like to say. When I explain about being transgender. I'm not feeding. Or trying to change anyone's mind. I'm just giving facts. And people can take. What they want, do what they want with it. I'm just simply explaining. Like I said, paw on the nails. I'm headed to the nail shop as soon as I finish this video. So like I said, I'm not forcing being a transgender woman or accepting transgender people. I'm not forcing that down anyone's throat. I'm just simply throwing out the information and... Do what you will with it. And I'm going to do more videos on lingo because I, in the chat, certain lingo I was using from the LGBT community, people, heterosexual people didn't understand. So I might do a video on some of the lingo. Even though society has already used a lot of our lingo, meaning heterosexual women, and the LGBT community gets no credit for it. That they got it from us. And no, I'm not on a campaign getting ready to slander heterosexual people. I'm just saying. So, I'm just talking square biz. And laying out the facts. So there'll be videos to come on that. And. I've been watching you. Cookie Monster. Mm-hmm. And you've been calling me. Now let me clear up something. Me and Cookie have no war going on or anything like that. Although she tried it on Maddie's time and Maddie just totally ignores her. But of course recently she tried it and I had to read her. And she threw a couple of you know slurs little shade at me. It was nothing. Cookie's always she comes for everybody. Please. Me and Cookie have had conversations over the phone. She likes to perform. She, Cookie, you want to be like T.S. Madison or you claim that you would turn it out and one day it's going to be your time. Dear, it's, you've been trying over and over and over again, Miss Cookie. You go to the halfway houses Run away and do your thing. Cookie, it's time to stop it. I did uh I've done a couple of videos on videos on you last year, hoping, wishing you encouragement, 
and things of that nature only to be let down. And I'm not blaming you because I don't know how it feels to be addicted to drugs. So I can't, I'm not in your shoes. But when you have certain things on your back, it's not cute to try to throw shade at someone who's trying to help you and be friends. And then you try to act like we're enemies. Miss Cookie, you told me to kiss your ass. And you patted it or something like that. And Miss Cookie, you forget. That ass is full of, how can I put it? Decades back. The girls were using silicone, black market silicones, which silicones get hard over time. So when you patted that ass, darling, it didn't budge. That silicone was hard as a rock. I'm surprised you didn't break your fingers when you patted your ass. And those breasts don't move either, Cookie. That silicone is hard as a rock. And I'm not throwing shade. That's something you said. You're talking about, thinking about, you know, getting it scraped out. But you were like at your age, you know, you didn't know what the, you know, what the aftermath would be, the recovery, or would there be any problems. Maybe you should just leave it alone since it's no problem. Yeah, girl. I remember you saying that, honey. <laughs> yeah, girl. Maybe Cookie is best to leave well enough alone. You don't want to be disfigured, girl. You've been walking around for all these years with those hard, with those hard butts and hips and tits. It's a big deal now. But the only thing I wonder, Cookie, when you're featuring the boys, when they're giving it to you, do they hurt their stomachs or maybe around their genitals? Because, you know, when they're getting it, it is rather hard when they're doing their thing. And when I mean hard, your butt, does it hurt if they go too fast? <laughs> yes, Miss Cookie, I'm throwing a little shade. Nothing personal. But you told me to kiss your ass, and when you patted it, it didn't move. And then when you told me, look at you, look at your face, you're giving me face. But you're giving me hard silicones in your cheeks that don't budge. Cookie, this is natural, girl. My cheeks are plump. I was blessed, thank God, with enough cheeks as a biological female would have. Mm-hmm, Cookie. Look at that. No sillies. No sills. No work, no nothing. This is all natural. This is from hormones. I was fortunate that the hormones gave me a little more cheek depth. I'm not going to mess with it. Mm -mm. I'm not going to go messing with it. Yeah, I admit I want a little more breast. But you see, I'm going to do it the right way. I'm going to get plastic surge. I'm going to use the bags that they use now. Not pump like you did, Cookie. And they don't move. See, I don't want my breasts to be hard. <laughs> I know you're going to read the hell out of me, Cookie. But I just had to come for you when you told me to kiss your ass. <laughs> but you know, Cookie, I'm... I'm rooting for you. I really hope you get stay clean if you're already having dipped. I hope you stay clean and I hope you get the success you want. But Cookie, you have to crawl before you walk. 
Okay, dear, and really focus on your sobriety if you want it. You've had enough falls, Cookie, to learn your lesson. But like I said, I don't know how it is to be a drug addict or being addicted and you're trying to kick the habit. So I'm not going to knock you. I just had to throw that little shade. You know how we do, girl. <laughs> and like I said, I'm going to be doing a little tutorial. Or not tutorial, but a little explaining. Because sometimes, yeah, I've heard Shay, like the girls get, people get in Maddie's chats and they try to upset her, talking about she sounds like a man. I don't understand you people. If you don't like Maddie, why do you come and on her page, coming for her? Obviously, you're watching in the bushes. I don't get that. You're throwing shade. You're a man. That deep voice. And then Maddie reads. Maddie, pay them no mind. I know sometimes it's hard. But sometimes you have to pay these people no mind. Ignorance is bliss. That's why I'm going to do a little couple of videos on that. The voice. First of all, I'm speaking for myself. I know I was born male and I transitioned. And even with that transition, there are going to be certain characteristics that you are going to have to work on when you transition to female. Some go to voice lessons to learn to keep their voice higher at a certain pitch. Some naturally have a, some transgender people have nat a naturally high pitch voice. So they don't have to work on it. Some have a lower voice and there are biological women who have lower voices. Who was that? Isabel Stamp from the Jeffersons, for some of you who are young enough to remember that series, but they still run, do reruns, that have a deeper voice. Oprah has a deeper voice. So there are many women who have a deeper voice, and that goes for the transgender women. And then there's some who are lucky enough that their voice is higher pitched, and then some... They go to voice lessons to learn to change the pitch of their voice and keep it at a certain rate. No, they're not. They're not. What would I say? They're not pretending with their voice. They've gone to voice lessons to learn how to, to change the voice and keep it at a certain range. Okay. Like I've been... Shade has been thrown, man hands, this and that and the other. That stuff doesn't bother me, honey. There are women with big hands, and my hands are not that big. No one's ever really seen me in person. I don't have any big hands. There were plenty of women with big hands. Like that alien who's always trying to insert herself and start trouble. Oh, alien, I saw your video. You know I can't stand you. Aunt Gary, you were starting trouble as well. Alien, please go somewhere and sit down, Aunt Gary. You irk me. No, I don't go looking for you. Sometimes you pop up in my face when I'm watching, when I'm going through my feed and I see you and I said, oh, she's come out of her little cubby hole. She's coming out from the winter. Oh, wait, Lynn, go somewhere and sit down, darling. Anyway, as I was saying, in my personal life, I'm not used to, I re rarely take my camera or phone around walking this all over every place I go. So in my personal life, people don't know what I encounter. I don't have to prove if I'm passable or not. I know how it is 
in my personal life. I know I'm passable. I don't know every time I get done with the eyelashes and stuff pop on the camera. I don't even think about it, really. Or if I'm someplace, I'm so busy enjoying myself, I don't even think about taking out the camera and doing a YouTube or proving proving something. Because I don't have to prove anything. An apocalypse with your dark lips. You have nerve. You're always in some trans girl's live or her platform. Why don't you come out of the closet, nigra? Quoting Rita. Why don't you come out of the closet, nigra? You're always throwing insults at the trans girls and the gay community. When you're gay and timid and look like a queen yourself, a closet queen, come out of the closet apocalypse. You're always throwing shade somewhere about gay and and this and that and gay children. and You're ridiculous. Smoke your weed, honey. Borrow some of Marquita lipstick for those lips. Like I told you, I wouldn't give you a tube of my lipstick. Hmm. It'd be nothing but a waste. <laughs> but come out of the closet apocalypse. I'm sick of you and chats trying to come for me, too. Yes, darling, I'm feeling better. My back is feeling better. It's letting me read for filth. I'm sick of you, apocalypse. Come out of that damn closet. And be the woman or or gay man that you are. Stop hiding. And trying to attack all the girls on their platform. Trans women. That's what Apocalypse does. In case anyone didn't know that. I'm letting it be known. And you can say whatever you want. Cowardly lying. Whatever, darling. You don't know me, Apocalypse. You haven't seen me. I don't have to prove a damn thing to you or anyone else. Am I passable in the street? Do I get spooked? I don't have to prove a damn thing. But my record would speak for itself. One day I'm going to write a book on my experiences. And some of the men that I've encountered. Military. Mm, I think I had a couple of policemen too. But that'll be for another video. But yes, Jay, I had a nice time in your chat. It was very nice explaining things. And I, like I said, I'm going to do a video further explaining how some of these men are for you women. Not all men, but how to spot if you suspect that your man is gay. And women, let me tell you something. For those of you women who suspect your man could be gay or you think he could be gay, if you sus have that feeling or you suspect it, more than likely he is. So I think I'm going to do a video about that. For the women who suspect that. Not all men are like that. Please don't get that impression. All that men are not on the down low or whatever. But if you, for the women, if you suspect, more than likely it's so. So, yeah, I'm going to do a couple of fun things on my videos, on my upcoming videos. Yeah, maybe a couple of days or a week I may go missing with my back. The physical therapy's coming along, and, and, and I like that. I don't even post, I don't even film in physical therapy. First of all, I'm busy doing the exercises. I can't do it with the camera and all that. And people don't want to be on the video. And I don't want to show people me doing my physical therapy. That That's personal. Okay? I don't walk around with my... my 
I don't walk around with my phone and just pop up and make videos when I'm at certain places. They're personal to me. That's my private life. I don't air all my private life out on YouTube. For some of you who are wondering or have inquired or thrown shade. Oh, is she spookable? Can she pass? No, I don't have to prove it. But maybe one day just to be catty, scatty, <laughs> I may. I'll show you. Maybe once. But anyway, all, now that I have served tea and my tea kettle is empty and my refreshments have been served, you all have a lovely day. And I shall see you my next video. A girl's going to get her nails done. Mm-hmm. And one more thing I'd like to say before I go. Us transgender women, for the most part, the majority of us, or I'm just speaking for myself, we do not hate women. Stop it already. We do not hate women. We came from mothers. Some women, my best friends are women. You learn from them when you're a transgender woman. You learn from women. I've learned from my mother, my best friend, my girlfriend. Some of them have shown me how to do makeup, put on my eyelashes. I mean, it's just stop it. We don't all hate women. There's a lot of women, some women who like to throw that out there. Oh, you're jealous of me. Or I have a vagina and you don't. They're constantly mentioning they have a vagina. Well, sweetie, some girls have a vagina. Some trans women have a vagina too. Oh, yeah, and you'll say, yeah, well, it was man-made. But regardless, it operates. Like a biological woman's vagina. Okay. So, no matter how you got your vagina, <laughs> it's what you want. It doesn't matter whether you were born with it or you got it medically. That's how a lot of trans girls feel. And some who are pre-op, who choose not to go there, they still feel like women and they're trans transgender and they're very satisfied with not having the surgery. It's just every trans woman is different. But that'll be for next video. I just had to address a few things. But like I said, Jay Wilson, thank you for the interview last night and the wonderful questions and I enjoyed everybody and I just enjoyed that interview with you, Jay, asking me questions. And no matter what anybody says, I'm going to get that corny laugh down packed. I am literally, honestly, practicing the Kwani laugh. I love it. Oh my God, I love that Kwani laugh. I have been practicing it. <laughs> and when I get think I have it perfected, I'm going to use it. Hope you don't mind, Kwani. Now all, let me get ready to go. I love you all. And I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye. Love you guys. And like I said, pay the nails no mind. I'm on my way to the nail shop ASAP. <laughs> oh, and one more thing. I want to shout out my James Corwell. Baby, I love you. I, I love your new show I bumped into. I love it. I love it. I love it. And you know what, James? You're another one that Miss Parker needs to get in touch with for beauty tips. 
and makeup and all that. Uh-huh, James. You're another one. And too, James, I'm I'm going to send you a couple of emails or when you have asked James. I want to ask you a couple of things about makeup, too. Mm-hmm. You can never... You can never not, not learn too much or get tips or whatever. So I'll be getting in touch with you, James, by email. And I got to email you, Jay Wilson. So all I'm getting off now, I got to get ready definitely to get my nails done. Talk to you all later. Love you. Bye.